Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question that says Construct a triangle ABC in which AB equal to 6 cm, BC equal to 7 cm and CA equal to 6.5 cm. Find the point P equidistant from B and C and also equidistant from AB and BC. Let us consider some useful loci to be used in the construction. First we have locus of a point equidistant from two given points is the right bisector of the straight line joining the two points. Also, the locus of points equidistant from two intersecting straight lines is the bisector of the angles between the given intersecting straight line. This is the key idea that we use in this question. Let's proceed with the solution now. First of all, we are supposed to construct a triangle ABC in which AB is 6 cm, BC is 7 cm and CA is 6.5 cm. So we follow some steps of construction. First of all, we draw a line segment BC of measure 7 cm. This is the line segment BC of measure 7 cm. In the next step, we have the B of the center and 6 cm as the radius. Draw an arc. So we have drawn this arc taking B as the center and radius equal to 6 cm. Now in the next step, with C as the center and 6.5 cm as the radius, draw another arc intersecting the previous arc. So we have drawn this arc taking C as the center and radius equal to 6.5 centimeters. With this point of intersection of the two arcs, the point A, in the next step, we join AB and AC. So in joining AB and AC, we get this triangle ABC in which AB is of measure 6 cm and AC is of measure 6.5 cm and BC is of measure 7 cm. So we have triangle ABC 
is the required triangle. Now that we have constructed the triangle ABC, next we are supposed to find the point P, which is equidistant from the points B and C, and also this point P is equidistant from the sides AB and BC. From the key idea, we know that the locus of points equidistant from two given points is the right bisector of the straight line joining the two points. And we are supposed to find the point P which is equidistant from the points B and C. So, locus of that point would be the right bisector of BC. That is the line joining the points B and C. So, in the next step, we draw the right bisector of the site BC. So this is the right bisector of the site BC. Every point on this right bisector of the site BC would be equidistant from the points B and C. Next we know that the locus of the points equidistant from two intersecting straight lines would be the bisector of the angles between the given intersecting straight lines. And we have to find the point P which would be equidistant from the sides AB and BC also. So we will draw the angle bisector of the angle ABC since angle ABC is formed between the straight lines AB and BC. So next step is draw the angle bisector of angle ABC. This is the angle bisector of the angle ABC. Now as you can see that the right bisector of the side BC and the angle bisector of angle ABC intersect at a point. Let this point P point P and this point P is equidistant from the sides AB and BC and also from the points B and C. So this P is the required point. That is, we say that point P is the required point equidistant from points B and C and also from sides AB and BC. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.